Good afternoon everybody, happy Thursday. Um, you've probably guessed from the title that I've got something to share with you today. Um, now, this got delivered whilst we were away camping and both me and Kev were super excited to come home and see it and it sat at the bottom of the stairs for a week waiting for me to do this video and Kev keeps saying, can I use it yet? Can I use it yet? And I'm like, no, I've still not done the video. So for the first time in ages, it feels, I'm at home on my own. I've just got back um, from Sienna's speech and language appointment, um, just dropped her to school, got home, Jamie's gone out, the house is empty. So I thought this is the perfect time to share with you this product that we've been sent. So when you've got a social media, um, following, whether it be you know Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, you get a lot of offers of products from companies that want you to share it for them. Um, a lot of the stuff we get offered, I turn down because I've always said I will only ever um, take a gifted item um, or do a collaboration if it's something that works for us and fits with our channel, um, of which this definitely is. So this company, um, which are called Chefri. I don't know whether to call it Chefri or Chef E, but either way, this company um, had emailed me um, a couple of months ago and offered us a air fryer. Now, I've had my eye on a double air fryer for a while. We've got a single salter um, air fryer that we've had for years and it does the job. You know, it does what it says on the tin. It's a bit tatty now. Kev, we used to keep it on top of the um, cooker and um, Kev turned on the hob too close to where the air fryer was and slightly melted the bottom of it, but it still does its job. So we hadn't um, changed it for a new one. So this company um, said, would you like this air fryer and sent me a link to it. And I had a look and it was the same size as the one that we currently have. Um, and I replied to the company and said, thank you so much for your offer of the air fryer. However, um, if we was to take it, we would only be showing it as our, um, our camping air fryer because we've always said it would make life easier when we're camping if we took an air fryer with us um, as as we were hoping in the future to get a double one and I didn't really I didn't want to take one the same size as the one we've got which still does its job um, and then at some point down the line I I buy a double one and you guys would be thinking well hang on didn't she just get gifted one so I said thank you but no thank you and they replied a couple of days before we went camping saying we have a new air fryer and we'd love to send it to you um, I clicked on the link and I was so excited it is a double air fryer so I'm gonna take it out of the box and show you it we have taken out the packaging because you don't need to be hearing all of the rustling um, but you're having a look at this at the same time as me I haven't read through the instruction book yet. All I know is it's got a lot of functions. So I'm gonna pop it out. Hang on, let me pop this down on the floor. I'm not gonna be able to do it up there. Oh, here we go. And I've also got the instruction manual. So here it is. Here is the double, the double air fryer and I love it and I cannot wait to use it. So I'm going to plug it in. Where is best for me to plug it in where I can lift it up and show you the buttons? There we go. Okay, so it's got this lovely, um, it's got this lovely screen along the front and if I switch it on, it comes up with all these lights and what is super exciting is that you can, I don't know if you can see because the lighting in here is quite bright today because it's sunny, but each basket has a window and a light inside so you can see your food cooking. So you don't have to open it to see if it's browning, if it looks like it's almost done, it has got lights inside. So you get two baskets, two of these, which hold, I believe, four litres each. I'm going to double check that, but I'm pretty sure they are four litres. I've kind of given myself a little rundown before doing this video, and now I'm questioning myself. But we get two baskets. You don't have to use both baskets at one time. You can um, use just one side, and you can choose which side you're using um, on the 
buttons at the top where it says left and right. I'm actually going to move it over slightly and I'm going to grab the camera down and move you a bit lower because all you can see is me talking. I've moved the toaster out of the way so that I can get this up on this side where I can show you it much better. However, I'm going to try and stay on this angle because if I stand in front, you can see me in the reflection. Um, this is our old um, air fryer, which we've been using since like the dawn of time, since air fryers ever became popular. I remember buying it after Christmas in Asda and... I think we've used it pretty much every day since. So we are well in need of an upgrade. So that is why I'm so excited for this one. I've also got out the user manual and it comes with this leaflet that gives you some great um, information on temperatures and times to cook different items on. So it's got like meats, vegetables. Um, and then on the back, it's also got some guidance on dehydrating and air crisping. Um, so that's a handy little leaflet that comes with it. So I'm going to switch it on and it comes up with these two options, left basket or right basket. You can also see now the lights um, in the two baskets. I'm going to click left and then it comes up with even more options. We've got air fry, we've got roast, we've got air crisp, we've got broil, bake, dehydrate, reheat and grill. And then on this side you've got temperature and on this side you've got time. So I'm going to set the temperature. We're going to go for 185 and oh, we're going to air fry and we're gonna go for a time of 18 minutes. And that's that basket's programmed. And then I'm gonna click right. And on this one, I'm gonna go roast. And I'm gonna roast it on a temperature of 200. And I'm gonna do that for 22 minutes. It then has two more buttons down here, which are brilliant, which is sync finish and shake. So if I click on sync finish, it's then going to make it so that both baskets end at the exact same time, um, which I think is really, really handy. So nothing's going cold whilst the other stuff is finishing on cooking. Apologies, you're going to hear some music. There is a, um, a guy that goes up and down our road playing Adele very, very loudly a couple of times a day. So if you can hear that, that's what that is. Um, yeah, so it will finish at the same time. It also has the shake button, which allows you to set a timer to remind you to shake it. So if you think I'm going to have to shake these chips halfway through, um, you can set the timer, go off and do whatever it is you're doing, and it will bleep to tell you to come back and shake. Um, if at any point you want to see how your food's cooking, you can click the light button and the light comes on. You can do that on both sides. And then to set it going, we're just going to press play and off it will go. And it will start and do its thing. So I'm going to cook in this today. Um, I'm going to cook something for tonight's dinner. Felicity has been very much missing roast potatoes. If I ever say, what do you fancy for tea tonight? It could be 30 degrees and Felicity will say, a roast dinner. Um, because she loves her roast dinners, but more than ever, she loves roast potatoes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some roast potatoes in one basket. And in the other basket, I've got a joint of shoulder pork. So I'm going to do that in the other basket. And then for tea tonight, we're going to have barbecue pulled pork and roast potatoes. I'm also going to do some mac and cheese. So you can either have roast potatoes and pulled pork or mac and cheese and pulled pork or all of it. If you want in a carb fest, they can have whatever they like. So that's what I'm going to do in the air fryer. So I'm guessing my best option will be to obviously air fry the roast potatoes. And I think I'm going to set the pork on to roast on the roast setting. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to show you what I'm doing and then we'll look at the end results in the end. I know Kev is super annoyed that he's at work because he wanted to do this video the other evening. And I was like, no, I'm not ready. I need to be in the zone. I need to read about it first. Um, and he's now at work. So I'm going to crack on and get it done now whilst I've got a quiet house. And then later on, he can have a play with it as well. this because
because the steam is just going to steam the camera up but I have parboiled the potatoes just because I know you don't have to but I just feel like you get a nicer crispier skin if you parboil so kind of just do exactly the same as what you were doing if you were doing them in the oven um, I've put some salt and some fry light over them um, I've popped the pork in this side the same with just a little bit of fry light and some salt and I'm going to put the potatoes in this one now can I do this one-handed is the question can I can I oh, oh yeah just about there we go so potatoes in that side with those are shaped they're all nice and even and the pork in the right side so I'm going to switch it on at the wall because I've actually currently got it switched off and um, switch it on left hand basket for the potatoes I'm going to air fry those for um and 190 for 18 minutes to start off with they can have a little longer if needed and then on the right hand side I'm going to do a roast and I'm going to do it on 200 and that's going to be for 20 minutes I'm then going to click on sync finish because I want them to finish at the same time and I'm going to press go and off it goes so this side has already started and this side should start in two minutes um, oh I forgot to press the shake button I'll do that next time um, but I will give the potatoes a shake halfway through and you can see that it's telling me what it's doing so it's got R for right hand roasting and left currently on hold for another eight seven six five four three two one there we go and now that one is kicked in and it's left air frying so I'm just going to leave it to do its thing go and hang some washing out and um, come back in a little while and shake the roast potatoes and hopefully um, 20 minutes from now we should almost have dinner ready a bit carried away with my washing um, and have just come back and there's already only three minutes left so I've paused both baskets you do that by clicking on the basket plus the play pause button so now they're quite on slightly different times because I paused them at different times and I'm just going to check how we're going so these are the roast potatoes so I'm going to give those a bit of a shake Pop them back in they're looking good and this is the pork which is also looking good I think that might need a little longer than the time I've set it for um, but it's looking good for now so I'm gonna put them back back in and press them going again they go they're both back finishing off it's beeping at me to tell me that it's all done and also the light has come on as well I popped the pork back on for another five minutes so that's why they've ended at a different time and I'm going to have a look what it all looks like so the roast potatoes look absolutely amazing Felicity is going to be super happy to come home from school and see she's got roast potatoes and in here oh is a super hot sizzling bit of pork which I'm hoping is going to pull apart nicely so we can mix it with barbecue sauce I'm going to leave it all in here whilst I go on the school run I've got to do the school run I've got to take Riley to a rounders tournament and then I'm going to come home and I'm going to use the reheat function just to warm it all back up before we dish it up for dinner so I'm just going to leave it all in here all alone in there I'm going to switch off at the wall though and come back after school drop off no not school drop off school pick up a rounders drop off so we got back from um, rounders and everything was a bit crazy the kids were really tired so we've taken out some of the roast potatoes and they had that with some mac and cheese and then this pork needed quite a lot longer it looked cooked but when Kev got home from work and he cut it open, he said, no, that needs about the same amount of time again. So I think that's had about another half an hour. Now we've added, or I say we, Kev's added a barbecue sauce, which he makes from scratch. And I would tell you the method and the ingredients, but I don't actually know. And he's currently not here. He's just asked me to pop this back on for 10 minutes um, to crispen that up or is it this one one of them he said oh yeah put that one on for 10 minutes and that one on just to warm so i'm going to do that now and then me and kev are going to have our tea okay so the finished result we've got mac and cheese with some barbecue pork and a random side of roast potatoes because felicity loves roast potatoes and i wanted to show you how both baskets work 
um, at the same time and how you can get them to finish at the same time. Um, so this is my dinner, which I'm super looking forward to. I'm gonna add all of the, um, the link to the air fryer, the link to the company and all of that sort of thing in the description box so you can go and check it out. I'm absolutely loving it. Not only is it bigger, so we can do twice as much food, but it also looks so like sleek. I love the screen on it. I love all the, the different functions. I was reading earlier on in the manual about the grill function. So you've got two, um, in the bottom of each basket, you've got like a plate that you can take out. Um, and then halfway up the basket, there is some little notches in the side where you can move the plate to the middle and that's when you can then use it for grilling. Um, so I thought that was a really clever feature um, as well. So when Jamie wants to make bacon, he can always grill it. And then, and then obviously that's really healthy because it brings all of the fat and the fat comes away and that's left in the bottom of the tray. Um, so yeah, not only does it look really nice, it's got loads and loads of features, loving the little windows as well and the lights, so you can check on it. I don't think I'm ever going to need to use my cooker ever again, apart from for the hob. Um, this is brilliant, absolutely love it. Anyway, I'm going to go and eat this before it goes cold. Thank you for watching this. I know it's not very often that I do sort these sorts of videos, so any comments, likes, shares, I will really, really appreciate that. Thank you guys, and I will see you all very soon.